All right, let's go over how to do my favorite wrist practice, my favorite self-love for the wrist, wrist cars. And it's not just spinning my wrist around in all the different rotations. I'm gonna control the rotation. So the way we do this is we take the right elbow into the side body, palm facing up, left hand grabs my right forearm so the forearm can't manipulate the wrist. And then I create a paddle with my thumb and my forefingers. Now try not to let the fingers bend, I just karate chop inwards. Now I'm gonna hold the tension of the karate chop inwards and start to rotate my fingers down. And then I keep pressing down, but I'm gonna rotate the hand out. Keep rotating out, rotate the fingers up. And then I just continue these controlled circles three to five times, and then I go in the opposite direction. Again, I'm not just spinning, and I'm not letting the, the forearm manipulate. Now to make this more difficult, more challenging, squeeze and make a fist. And then you do the same thing with your fist because the fist just adds more resistance, more tension. And then the last thing would be to take a, a, a or lacrosse ball or a mile faster ball or something like a tennis ball, squeeze it tight, as tight as you can and make those rotations. This is something I do before any time I practice vinyasa yoga, any time I practice arm balances, inversions, but really it's become a part of my daily maintenance practice where I'm trying to keep the range of motion in my wrist so that way I can have it perform to optimal capabilities.